Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, we go over my debt-free journey, and right now, this is my March 2018 cash stuffing envelope, the first one of the month. Feel free to click that little red subscribe button down below to stay updated. And now, this is my starter envelope wallet that I found in the Financial Peace University kit. I will have a link down below for that on Amazon as well as the refills. So if you can see, these are brand new refills. I've had these actually for a while, probably a little over six months, um, but I've been holding on to them. And since I just hit my one year anniversary, link up in the eye in the sky for that. I hit my one year anniversary of becoming debt free. So I've been holding on to these. I finally opened it up and we are going to fill them. So I have the old tattered ones here. As you can see, they've been well used over the past year. And I continue to try to get as much use out of them as I could. Uh, and so we will be stuffing these with this money as well as the money I took out for my check. This is a coupon that won't fit inside of here. Usually I keep my coupons inside of the envelopes so I don't forget them, but this one won't fit. It's just something for trivia. And then I also have this silver that I've been saving up for from earlier in the year. Now I don't usually clean out the change all the time for my cash envelope. I know it destroys it even faster, but I like to try to use as much of the change as I can. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out today. All the silver will go in, will go in here and the pennies will go to my craft business. Um, I know there's some 2018 pennies in there, so that would be cool for maybe some class of 2018 maybe. So all of the silver I'm going to put in here as we clean out the wallet. I got $225 this time, which is more than last time. There's a couple things that are running not quite low, but I want to start adding back to it as I can. So we have 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 25 dollars right there. So what comes with this refill? It's actually not that expensive. It's just I tried to make the other one last as long as I could because I didn't want to have to buy these too often. Maybe I should do it once every six months instead of once every year. They're really inexpensive, but you know. They also come, so they come with this for the wallet, this refill for the wallet, which has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight envelopes for the wallet part. And then it comes with four loose ones as well. So we're gonna take one out for the gas as you can see, it definitely needs to be replaced. And these will probably end up being for the gas too because that one gets heavily used, especially because I keep $2 in there for if I need air in my tires or a parking fee or anything like or like a parking meter. Um, so that gets worn down a lot. So I'm just going to put these right here in this slot so I know where they are. And then anytime I need it, they'll be there. So there's four of those. And I left it categorized the same way. I have two for groceries. I'm thinking at the moment, keeping money in one and receipts and coupons in the other. And then I'll switch back and forth as I fill out the log. And this here shows you how to fill out the log. And then of course I have household next, medical, clothing, personal, cats, and then hair which the hair is kind of more like a sinking fund, but since I pay her in cash, it's just better to keep it in my cash envelopes. Starting with groceries. Now, I am not contributing anything from my own money this month still, which is fine. I have enough coming from the church for now. And I went on a couple of sprees. You'll be seeing those videos soon as well. So I only have $1. <laughs> I will have the church check after this weekend though, so that's actually gonna be more than a usual, so that's okay, it'll be beefed back up. That's kind of what I was expecting. And really, 
The balance before was a dollar, let me find it here, a dollar 45. So that 45 cents. This 45 cents is going to go away. See some nice shiny new 2018 pennies in there. Those will be great. So I'm just gonna open up my little canister and toss them in there. Household, again, I will not be adding any of my own personal money, but uh, they will have some of the church tech soon. I actually went and bought a bunch of light bulbs and I sat there and price checked them and I found an LED kind that when you bought the bulk pack of, I think it was eight, it was actually the same exact price as a bulk pack of halogen, 16 pack per like per unit. They were 97 cents each for light the light bulb. So I got those, I got like three packages of those. So that was like $25. So I was left with 107.53. So we'll take out the change. Put that away. And so I'll have $107 to transfer into the new crisp envelopes. I also have a couple of coupons from Monopoly for Albertsons in there. I don't know if I'll use them, but they're gonna go in there. Did I put the, ah yes, I have a lot of coupons for the household I need to transfer over as well. So we'll put those in here. So 107, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 6, 7, $107 into the household. And once I get the church money, it'll be some more. I might be using this to do some lawn care. I need a tree removed. So we'll see how much that'll be next time around. Medical, I am adding my usual 25. It was at... So my medical was at 3737. I am adding my regular 25. Let's take the 37 cents out. There comes all of the money. Put the silver away and put the pennies to the side. So I have $37 right here. 25, 30, 35, 36, $37. And then I'm going to add my 25 that I always add. And I need to get some like prescription toothpaste and mouthwash here soon. So that'll go towards that. So I have $62, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62 dollars in the medical fund. In the medical cash envelope, I, I mean. Clothing, uh, as I told you last time, I had 27, 17 in there. I haven't been adding to it very often. I added to it about a little over a month ago and before that, a month before that. So I'm gonna start adding consistently to it again for a while, because I do need new pants. So the 17 cents, of course, is going away. So get rid of that. And so there's $27 in here, 25, six, seven. And so I'll add the $10 that I contribute per paycheck. So we have 20, 35, six, seven dollars in clothing. I can go get another pair of work pants and then start saving up for other necessities in the clothing de department. So there's 37 there, personal. Doesn't have any change. It just has a $10 bill left over. So we'll grab that and I'm gonna put my regular 50, which is two 20s and a 10. So now I have 20, 40, 50, 60 dollars in personal. Now the cats, as I've said in my previous one, I've been saving up for quite a while because I was stocked up and I was waiting to hit a good sale. I didn't hit a great sale but I went a few days ago and I got a couple things of the slide litter. That'll be in one of my grocery hauls. Um, that was $23.81 for two of those. 
And then I knew I was, it texted me while I was in the store. And so I knew I was going to get a $10 off 50. So I went back today. I don't have a haul for that, but I got a couple of the tidy cats because I mixed that together with the slide tidy cats litter. And then I got all of their wet food. They still need some dry food, but I have like at least a couple weeks left. So I'm going to see if that goes on sale because it's pretty pricey because my younger cat his stomach can't really take very much so the kind that i get is a bit pricey so i'd like to see sometimes a lot of times it goes for five dollars off so the tidy cats were actually 250 off per bucket i had a two dollar off coupon and then the wet food was not on sale but i had that ten dollars off so i spent 58.69 but it says i saved 17 dollars off of the Pet Perks promo for the litter and then the $10 off as well as the $2 manufacturer coupon. So that was okay, that wasn't the best, but that was okay. And of course, I'm gonna put my $20 in. Let's uh, dump out, I had $37.50 left over from that. I had $120 before I went and bought those things. So now it's down to $37.50 and um, the big, big dry, the big, big bag of dry cat food that I always get is about 40, I think, 35, if I can hit it with that $5 off. So I'm going to hold out, but if I run out, I'll just have to go grab one for whatever price it is. So adding my $20 that I normally add, now I have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57 dollars going into the new cash envelope and then finally for the wallet part I have my hair uh, I went and got it cut recently I think I told you somewhere in here I have plenty of dry shampoo now I still have color left so I you know, I went for that haircut and I haven't been funding it for a little over a month. It's kind of like the cats I have, or not the cats, the clothing. I haven't been funding it and then like I funded it and waited like a month before that. So it's been sporadic. I'm going to start uh, constantly doing it for a few paychecks, see where I can get to. I was at 30.13. So there's the 13 cents and that's going to go away. So I have $30 here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add what would be my regular amount whenever I add to it, which is $20. So now I have $20, $40, $50 into hair. And so that's a good starting point as my hair kits have kind of been going up. And that's why I like this as well because I can kind of look back. Um, I spent like 63 and then this last time or and then 65 and this last time around was 76. So if I fund another two times, then I'll be able to go get it again. It'll be around the time that I know, need to go get a refresh on the color and the cut. So I think that'll work out great. Uh, one more thing, of course, is the gas. Of course, I won't get rid of all this change because I have to keep, uh, I have to keep $2 in there, as I've said. So here is $2, and I guess I ended up with 10 extra cents, but I spent everything. I don't know why I didn't spend that 10 extra cents. I spent everything. I barely squeaked through. Actually, I even had my monthly reward coupon print, and I immediately used that extra money. It's like cash back to um, go towards, I'm just going to stick my coupons in there to go towards my gas that day. So I just made it through, I'm gonna have to get more. And I decided that this time, since I've just been barely squeaking through, I'm gonna add 10 extra dollars than I usually do. So usually I do, here let's stick these two dollars and quarters in here. So I have two dollars, put the 10 extra cents away. So I usually do increments of 30. So I have 30, 60, 90, and I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra $10 this time to make 100, just in case. So there's $102 inside of my gas envelope. Nice and shiny and new, we'll see how long that lasts. But like I said, I have 
three more of these loose ones so I can replace it once this gets too grungy to handle. Actually, I usually replace them since I do this one in pen. As soon as I've used up all the space, I'll replace it. The other ones I do in pencil. That way I can erase it and keep using it for a while which is what I did on the other one, and that probably makes it wear through a lot more. So here's the old one. It's probably gonna stick around just for a little bit so I can see, I like to see what I get for the cats and how long it lasts or for the house. So this is a good thing to recall back on, but at least it's not bothering me anymore with how dirty and grungy it is. So here we are restuffed the new one again I left the links down below so that you can check that out and um, it's just the starter envelope kit and then these are the refills super easy they're a reasonable price uh, and of course I will put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys and I will talk to you guys next time bye